Hello and welcome to the Scatterbook channel and what is this? This is an Intel motherboard from MSI and get this, the memory is actually on the motherboard itself. This is only possible thanks to the project zero nature of this con conceptual motherboard here and actually in this finished system I'll show you right now you can actually get a full blade onto this memory and I assume do some really hardcore overclocking on this motherboard. I wanted to start out with this because I haven't seen another board that looks quite like this, but there's another one that also looks pretty experimental. Now this isn't conceptual, but it is coming to the market. This is gonna be probably one of your first looks at an X870 motherboard for the upcoming Ryzen 9000 series of CPUs. This is the Tomahawk Wi-Fi. And I can definitely tell you that the styling has changed. I want to say we've been used to a more like moderate design, but here I think we're getting a little bit of this electric green. But the coolest thing I want to tell you right now with this motherboard is that there is this really cool PCI latch releaser. So if you have a very large graphics card, you don't have the fish for this release. You can just press this right here and release your graphics card. But on their other X870 motherboard they want to show off here at their booth, there is this really cool way of detaching the M.2 heatsink as well as for attaching M.2 drives, all without the need of screws. So that is a cool little animation from MSI to further provide some innovation for their X870 motherboards. Now this is the other big thing MSI wants to show off. We have this new program called Digimine. Now this is all controlled through AI and if you can see on the footage on screen, this is a cool little 3D avatar that tracks your movements that you can utilize as kind of, I guess you could say an avatar, but this almost could be like a VTuber setup you can have all done through AI. So you don't need any expensive gloves or equipment. This can all be detected just through a standard webcam through this software from MSI and this will come bundled in with every single MSI pre-build you are looking at purchasing or getting for yourself. Although this software can also be downloaded separately, but this is a really cool way of achieving a VTuber setup without having to spend VTuber money. So, pretty neat innovation from MSI. Okay, now I did show a little bit of this at CES, but MSI is bringing some new monitors that come with AI detection based off whatever game you're playing. So this right here is Monster Hunter, and if you look at this bar down here, it automatically changes based off your ammo on a weapon. So if I go ahead and fire some shots right here, and you look at that yellow bar, it's going to continuously go down, and there's no sort of programming for that. That is just being automatically detected by the monitor. It can also detect other things like your health bar, stamina, magic, whatever, that can be all done natively through this MSI monitor. So there's some pretty neat innovations with these MSI AI monitors to further show what is happening in your game on the monitor itself. Now this here is a special pre-built from MSI. This is their Meg Vision X AI. Now let me get some clarification. MSI is splitting up their components and peripherals into three different categories. MEG, which is for enthusiasts, MPG, which is all geared for performance, and MAG, which is a bit more mainstream and affordable. But this right here is one of their top tier pre-builds, and the main selling point of it is this really cool integrated screen. More or less, this is a secondary screen that you can use in addition to your first one, but you can also use it to change things on your computer. If you want to change the profile, you can do that automatically through the screen here. Say if you want to set it up for more of a work meeting or turn it into more of a gaming mode, you can do that here right through the screen. You also can go ahead and play with these different applications and launch them natively straight onto your desktop. And like I said, this is a secondary screen. You can take anything and bring it over to this smaller screen right here. Like I said, this is a premium system that's also powered by the MSI AI engine. So if we want to go ahead and take a look at the best possible rebuild from MSI, that's how you can achieve it through the Meg Vision X AI. Now check this out. This is a new case from MSI that utilizes their Project Zero series motherboards that have all the I.O. and power connectors on the back of the motherboard. But here's a cool new thing with this case. It is using some revolutionary new case fans. So these here are the Velox 300R Airflow PZs. I believe that's either the case name or the fan name. I'm sorry if I messed that up. But what's really cool about these is that these are two sets of nine blade designs. 
what's here in the middle is a very concentrated flow of air, but on the outside is a bit more open, wide, but it provides stabilization for the airflow. And the combination of both of these different fins of fans, I think is going to provide a very direct but concentrated stream of air onto your components. I've yet to see a case fan take this sort of design route, so let's see how good it performs hopefully in the aftermarket. But yes, this is a new case, and it's getting new case fans from MSI. Yet again, more new updates to their case and cooling lineup. Speaking of cooling, this is MSI's new Core Liquid P all-in-1 water cooler. And finally, I think we've got an AIO that has managed to squeeze all the cables you want inside the pump tubes. So if you look at the actual connection right here, you can either use a singular USB type C cable or one of these kind of cables that branches off from here into either a USB 2.0 header and a SATA power cable, or I think another connector of some sort. Either way, there's only a single cable coming out of this all-in-one water cooler and in a sea of other water coolers that require multiple cables for different RGB, fans and all that, finally I think MSI have nailed down a way to include all the cables into a singular solution for the cleanest looking AIO possible. But it doesn't end there because there's also this new uni bracket design coming out from MSI that'll be compatible with both AMD and Intel systems. And I think obviously the coolest thing here is gonna have to be this elongated screen right here that is visible on top of the pump. So this is an MPG product, it's for performance, but I like to think they did a really good job at hiding all the cables through the pumps and actually making it work with your motherboard. Speaking of Meg, this right here is a top-end power supply from MSI. This is the Meg AI 1600T PCIe 5. This is ready for whatever the next RTX whatever will be because we have two onboard PCIe 5 power connectors that can deliver in total with the whole power supply up to 1600 watts. That's a lot. But also being an enthusiast grade power supply, it, it, it takes some design risks, I want to say, that make it stand out versus some of MSI's more standard looking power supply components. So this is a cool new enthusiast grade power supply, a part of their MAG lineup, which makes sense. And this will hopefully be coming soon. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rapid fire off some more things coming out from MSI. This here is a small and compact free belt coming out called the Infinite E1. This is again using the MSI AI engine and some of that AI is being used to further thermally improve the performance of this free belt computer. Again, if you want a free belt from MSI that isn't as expensive as that one I showed you earlier, this one might be worth considering. And this is probably the last thing I want to quickly show you guys. This right here gives me iMac Pro vibes. This is a different kind of case from MSI that is using some wood, and the exact name of it, it's just called a modern PC build. I think this is conceptual, but I like to see MSI taking some design risks with some of their future PC cases. Kind of like their SFF Ready PC case right here, that again is conceptual, may not, may not come to the market, but it's ready for those enthusiast grade SFF graphics cards that NVIDIA recently confirmed. So here's some cool cases that could come out from MSI. And there you have it. That is all we have to cover here for the MSI booth at Computex. If you enjoyed this coverage, give this video a like. And if you want to see more of our Computex coverage, because it's going to eventually hit the rest of our channel, you probably should subscribe. So all that said, thank you so much for watching. And this is the Scannable Channel, signing out.